from recovery to relief. CO2 lifts transformative role in functional and cosmetic gynecology. I want you to picture this. Just imagine you just completed the most meticulous cosmetic gynecological procedure there is. Every detail was perfected. Every suture was placed with precision. The surgical artistry was there. In fact, it looked like one of the cases on gym flips. <clears throat> but what's next? Recovery. And I'm here to tell you that the uncomfortable truth is recovery has not changed in the last 10, if not 20 years. The way we approach healing today is damage control. We tell them to ice, we tell them to elevate, we give them some half-decent post-op instructions, but this is damage control. This is not optimization, post-op optimization. So, I have no, I should have told you that, but we'll go here now. But what if everything we've been doing for post-op recovery is outdated? Imagine if we could accelerate healing enhance tissue repair, and redefine the post-op recovery period, not just for the patients, but for the results that we all desire and like to deliver. So are we optimizing healing or are we just letting it happen? If we are doing standard post-op care, elevate, lift, rest and ice, this is passive healing. Why am I making this a big deal? Because patients expect better outcomes and they want faster recovery. Why does it matter to all of us? Because people sitting next to you in this room are using tools to advance their post-op recovery. So, oops. Going ahead. And what's the tool? CO2 lift. So the top patient is in her early 30s. You look at her at one week, she, we did a labiaplasty, clitoral hood reduction, and she has swelling and she has a lot of ecchymoses. In fact, Pelosi calls this the Frankenstein period. Now, if we look at the bottom patient, she also had labiaplasty, clitoral hood reduction, but we also did some feathering or airbrushing of the perineum and we applied the CO2 lift V and there she is at one week. She's almost completely healed. We did so much more, but on top of that, she's in her early 50s and we know that aging slows healing. All right, let's talk about the science. I don't want to go real deep. I just want to kind of want you to get a real good understanding so that you can deliver to your patients. But if you're looking for the real detail, the nuts and bolts, I would ask you to look up that DOI number there. That article there uh, goes over the, 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 the pathology. Uh, there's case studies. It's just an amazing article, but let's talk about what we do with CO2 lift V. So it's a gel. We apply gel to the skin and this causes increased oxygenation. <clears throat> Basically what happens is when in hemoglobin encounters high concentrations of CO2, the actual shape of the hemoglobin changes and releases all of the molecules of CO2. Thus, the Bohr effect, thus, we move the oxygen, oxygen dissociation curve to the right and we have faster healing. Now, all of this is happening at the same time. So we see expansion of capillaries. So this reduces swelling for the patient. What else does it do for the patient? It's gonna reduce pain. It's gonna give her a smoother recovery. Now, when you have CO2 everywhere, and the body is recognizing this as an injury, and so the healing cascade is also started. You get release of chemokines, cytokines, growth factors. This leads to increased collagen, elastin, new blood vessel growth. What this means for us is that we have stronger, healthier tissue. 
This makes all the big difference when we're talking about complex cases and revisions. We'll talk about that a little bit later. All right, what do we do? This is how it's done. Every patient, can we turn it up a little bit? Every patient of mine, I send them this link. I like the voiceover because it's my voice, but uh, they mix it up, just like we show on here, and they apply it. For lengthy requests, use the CO2 level gel and apply it to the outer areas of the vulva and skin of the perineum. With your fingers or mixing stick provided. You want to, I just tell the patients to ice like you're uh, icing or frosting a cake. Just apply it and slather it everywhere. It, it, it's made and designed for the vulva and the vagina. And it will heal. It will help things heal. It will shorten your healing by seven to ten days. Well, that's kind of it. I think people get the idea on that. Okay, so how do I use CO2 lift in my practice? Uh, you can use it immediately and at home. You can use it post-surgically like we've been talking about. You can use it after your non-surgical procedures to increase hydration. You can use it to increase mucosal tissue support. And like I stated, we can really help uh, with stronger, healthier tissue to help with revisions and complex cases. All right, so here's a patient on the left. She had lichen. The striking thing about this picture is actually that blue where my blue glove is. You can see that she's letting me touch her. In the first picture, she's got fiery red vulva. She's got plaques and whiteness there, and she's not letting me touch her. But after two weeks, 10 treatments, she comes in, I can examine her, and I can do whatever else I think we need to do, or this may be enough. 10 treatments, two weeks. All right. Now, you can use CO2 lift V pre-operatively and post-operatively. All of us will run into patients who are complete clitoral hood buried, completely buried. And so my thought was, let's do CO2 lift V beforehand. I usually give it to them between a week to two weeks before my procedure. And then we did a clitoral unhooding, as you can see there and look at the patient at one week. On top of that, she is 70 years old. So we are optimizing her post-op recovery. One week, completely, almost completely healed. All right, we talked about uh, using CO2 lift V in complex cases and revisions because of the strong tissue integrity as well as predictable healing, right? So this is a patient who flew out to see me from Philadelphia. She had two labiaplasties done by her OBGYN. And so we did CO2 lift V, we did perineoplasty, labiaplasty, clitoral hood, labia majoroplasty, and a vaginal flap advancement. And there she is with some semblance of labia minora afterwards. And so it really helps with the healing and you have predictable healing. The tissues are stronger and healthier. All right, why I no longer offer, offer basic recovery. What I'm really saying here is how did I really incorporate CO2V into my practice? Well, I started off basic versus premium. I had a little line down there. Hey, you want optimized healing? It costs a little bit more. And those that could afford it and wanted it, paid for it. Now, that was cool. I made a little extra money, but what really got to me was when I would see the patient at one week, especially the vaginal reconstructions. The ones that did not have CO2 lift V, you've seen them, they kind of creep in and they sit down gingerly. The ladies that had the CO2 lift V post-operatively looked as though they never had the operation. They would walk in and sit in, how are you doing Dr. Reed, no problems. It is significant difference. That was when I decided I'm just up in the price. Everybody gets CO2 lift V because patients will pay for it and you have optimized care and you're increasing their healing. We're doing something real for the patients. All right, what everyone should know about this. 
All right, Sir so Postop. We have to start changing the way we think. Postop isn't just an afterthought. We can't be passive in our healing anymore. We need to be active. We need to optimize, right? Uh, think of it as part of the procedure's success. I've been talking about CO2 lift V, using it immediately post-op, because the first seven days dictate your long-term results for the patient. So manage the inflammation early. Hydration, we tell patients to drink, drink, drink. But imagine, you could use CO2 lift V, get mucosal hydration, and the healing outcomes are gonna improve. Patients don't want surgery. They want an experience that guarantees the best possible outcome. Change the way we think. Optimize. All right. Now I'm talking to every doc who is not using CO2 lift V here. Number one, patients will actively seek out surgeons who are offering advanced options. What does this mean for you? Well, it means you're going to have more word of mouth and referrals. If you look at what's going on out there in labiaplasty and you look on the platforms that are out there, the patients are educating each other. They're telling each other how to do this and how to do that, but imagine now, your patient is on that platform saying, my doctor gave me CO2 lift V and I healed and I didn't have any pain. What is that gonna do? It's gonna get you word of mouth more referrals. Optimized healing leads to fewer post-op complications. No need for follow-ups, no need for revisions. You know what that means? That means more money, more time, right? Lastly, offering superior post-op uh, care differentiates you from competitors. Allowing you to charge a premium rate with confidence. I'm telling you, I charge more because I offer this. And every patient does it and is happy about it because they're healing so fast. <clears throat> so, last takeaway is, remember, topical carboxy gel decreases pain. It decreases edema and swelling for the patients. It decreases bruising, shortens your post-op recovery and healing by seven to 10 days. So here's the challenge. Mastering surgery is expected. But mastery, healing, is what's going to make each and every one of us here exceptional. Thank you.